And hi, I'm Tom Spring with SE Media, and I'm joined uh, today with uh, Dustin Sachs, Chief Technologist at Cyber Risk Alliance. And Justin, thank you for joining us today to talk about the CrowdStrike uh, update uh, incident that is causing massive outages across the globe uh, and is impacting significantly Microsoft customers. Dustin, thank you for joining us once again, and, and please introduce yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Tom. Uh, my name is Dustin Sachs. I am a doctorate of computer science as well as the chief technologist at Cyber Risk Alliance. Uh, have a little over uh, 18 years of experience in cybersecurity industry as a practitioner and uh, am now here running, you know, content and uh, working with our community. The question I think we would all love to know at this early stage is, is what happened? What, what do we know has happened in terms of this outage? Yeah, absolutely. So as of, you know, Friday, the 19th of July at about 11 a.m., what we know is that at around about one o'clock Eastern U.S. time this morning, um, companies ar around the world started noticing that they were encountering what's known as the blue screen of death. They were they were encountering an error that was causing their computers to stop functioning and uh very quickly found out that it was traced to an update, an automatic update that appears to have run at most of these companies uh, for a, a software known as CrowdStrike um, and specifically CrowdStrike Falcon, uh, which is a cybersecurity tool that does um, monitoring of computers to determine if there's been any sort of uh, compromise of those computers. Um, and it looks like that software update um, had a flaw in it that caused these computers to start to fail. Okay, okay. So we we are just now getting a good clear picture on just how widespread these this outage uh, is. Can you give us a sense in terms of who is being impacted? I know that Microsoft customers have been primarily uh, uh, impacted by this uh, update uh, that uh, CrowdStrike um, is uh, 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 blaming for these outages. Can you talk about how how the who, who is being who is who is impacted? How big is the scope of the outages? Yeah, absolutely. So you know, as you said, yeah, it's 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 primarily Microsoft based customers. Um, the list seems to be changing, you know, minute to minute. But as of now, we know that. Uh, major airlines, American Airlines, Delta, United were all impacted. We know that uh, the National Health Service in the UK was impacted. Um, I've gotten reports that some of the, the labs, the hospital labs uh, here in the US have been impacted. Um, the, we've, we've heard about, um, you know, we've heard about credit uh, banks being impacted. So the scope of this, I think, is growing minute by minute. You know, can you talk a little bit more about the 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 number of sectors within the economy that are being impacted by this outage? Yeah, I mean, it's going to it's going to cross pretty much every sector. The the key kind of connector is that they were using this cybersecurity software. So um, I, w I would expect we're going to see impact across, you know, every sector of industry. What you're mentioning now in regards to cybersecurity is, is super important. CrowdStrike is making it very clear that this was not a cyber attack. This has nothing to do with its systems being compromised. It has to do with an update. What can we talk about when it comes to cybersecurity implications, however, with this incident, uh, you know, certainly this type of widespread outage is going to have implications uh, that are going to impact uh, an IT team's ability to uh, uh, protect networks. Yeah, I mean, I think what you said is 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 spot on. You know, they came out very quickly and said this was not a cyber incident. This was not a ransomware. This was not what we have traditionally seen. Um, 
the biggest implication is, it, you know, it certainly seems clear or, or is becoming clear that this was an automatic update that many companies were running because it happened, you know, in the middle of the night, um, which, which is a, a good thing. You know, it's a good sign that yes, they companies are using software to keep their themselves secure and they are regularly updating it. There are certainly things to be considered about how quickly updates are being applied and whether or not testing is being done. But the biggest challenge is going to be over the next couple of days and weeks while CrowdStrike remediates whatever the issue that they had was. Um, it's going to be that that organizations are not going to be able to perhaps monitor their own cybersecurity. So you worry about now is an incident that is you know, is an incident, an actual cyber incident going to occur that some company is not going to see because their software is not working? Mm -hmm. You know, you bring up uh, uh, as we as we get into this in terms of lessons learned. I mean, what what are what are some of the again, we're we're at 11 o'clock. Uh, day one of this incident, and I'm sure hindsight is going to be 2020. However, when when we consider what are the lessons to be learned from an uh, uh, an issue like this, uh, what what are they? Are is there anything that we can gather at these early stages uh, in terms of uh, lessons learned and advice? Yeah, I mean, I think this one and and even going back to, you know, solar winds a couple of years ago, the biggest lesson I think that can easily be taken away already is we can't just install an update when it comes out when it's available. There has to be some level of testing done on the on the implication of that that uh update before it is done or before it's implemented and uh, you know, the fact that again this happened overnight in the US certainly indicates that or or it would tend to indicate that it was an automatic update that was running on systems that probably hadn't been as fully tested by the organizations that are implementing it as they they probably should have okay what do we know that uh, in terms of how Microsoft is handling this situation and its communications to its customers that are being impacted and uh, and any remediation uh, that may be available to customers right now? Yeah, so CrowdStrike and Microsoft have both been very good about getting out very quickly with information on what to do. Um, there are There is a Microsoft article, uh, I believe, on their TechNet about the exact steps to do if you're using CrowdStrike in an Azure environment. CrowdStrike has put out to their customers a step-by-step -step guide of what to do. Um, so the remediation steps are out there. Um, I think this is this has been one of the kind of the, the silver linings in all of this is that both organizations have been very quick to get the fix out to people. It's okay. a matter of now getting it fixed and implementing those fixes um, as quickly as possible and then figuring out what the full impact of this was. Okay. It, uh, is there a sense that we're going to be uh, back to normal anytime soon? Is, you know, what is the, what is the recovery time on something like this, even with the patches, the workarounds and the updates that are available to uh, customers today? Well, it's, it, it certainly seems like at this early venture that the, the remediation fixes that have been put out will at least stop the bleeding um, and will at least allow some level of operations to resume. Um, CrowdStrike has been very open about the fact that they're not sure exactly how long it might take to get back to 100%. Um, I think you know, from, from what I'm seeing, what I'm reading, what I'm hearing from my contacts in the industry, um, getting back up to at least some level of operational uh, should be a fairly easy thing and should be something that can be done, you know, within the next, you know, couple hours or days. Uh, okay. But the overall impact of how long is still an unknown. So if you work in IT, uh, you're working through the weekend is what you're uh, saying. 
for for many organizations, yeah. I mean, the fact that this happened on a Friday morning is is kind of one of those things that we always joke about. But unfortunately, it's probably, yeah, the full impact and assessing the full impact, even if you get back up and running today, operationally, the assessment of how badly were we affected mm-hmm. um, is going to is going to probably take the weekend because there was a six, seven hour period for some companies before they realized this had been impacted if they yeah. if they didn't didn't know it one in the morning. Yeah, I, I want to uh, ask a dangerous question, uh, and that is, uh, it, can, can you break it down technically in terms of uh you know, putting it in simple terms, exactly what happened here technically uh, at a high level uh, in terms of what caused this problem. Yeah. And I want to be very careful because we don't know a lot. We still don't know a lot about exactly what happened based on what we know now and what has been reported. What likely occurred was that this software update was, was developed by CrowdStrike over the past weeks or months. Um, And one of the steps that always occurs towards the end is a quality assurance check. They check to make sure the software operates as expected. And it appears from what we know now that something in that check got missed and there was a piece of code that is doing something it shouldn't be doing. It does not appear by any stretch or from any report that it was a malicious action, but simply a failure to catch something that was innocuous under normal circumstances. And the software was then pushed out. And because that check hadn't been done, it didn't work. So think of it like any other product you get that when you get it, it breaks immediately because they didn't check to make sure that it was glued on correctly, or they didn't make sure the screw was tied as tight as it should have been. Mm-hmm. So this is, this seems to be a very non-malicious incident, but certainly something where some failure of process appears to have occurred. But again, okay. We don't know. We don't know the full extent, and this could change over the next, and likely will change over the next days and weeks. Okay, I want to thank you so much for your time and breaking this down and giving us a quick snapshot on the totality of the story and where we are at today, early on in reporting what happened. So, thank you so much, Dustin. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Tom.